okay. Hopefully everyone enjoyed their mini Murph and got comfortable with running. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our accessory and these are gonna be all kind of different uh, stuff we don't have. We've done the one a long time ago. We haven't done it for a while and we're gonna introduce you to some more oblique work. Okay, so we're gonna start out first of all with Renegade Rose. So it'll be 10 Renegade Rose. We get our set of dumbbells in front of us, right? We've got to leave room so we can do our push-up. So we're here, it's a push-up, right, left, that's one rep, okay? If we have to put those knees down, right, that's fine. Chest to ground, up, right, left, okay? And it would be even better, even once you got push, finished your push-up, you got back onto those feet, and that's actually what my preference would be, is to stay up there and go into that high plank position. Now, we don't have a set of dumbbells. What we can do is we can do a renegade shoulder tap. So, what that would be, right, we're gonna come down, we're gonna do our push up, here, here, that would be one rep, okay? So, um, that's your renegade rows. After that, we're gonna work into what we call our oblique tuck-ups. So, we're kind of on our side, and we are, right, lifting those knees into our side, okay, for 10 total reps. Now, if we need to put that elbow down, and we're kind of on the side of our hip, and we're gonna do 10 reps. When we're done, we're gonna switch sides, right? And we would be, we can be here, right? And these are hard, guys. I know they're hard. So we're gonna do 10 total reps. You might have to just do a practice, just to kind of get a few practice ones, just to kind of get the feel for them. So your accessory, 10 renegade rows, 10 oblique tuck-ups right, 10 oblique tuck-ups left, three rounds, one heck of a Saturday.